Hi friends, let's move on to our topic simple equation. Hi friends, welcome back to Math Simplify. Before we learn what an equation is, have you heard of the word variable? A variable can take different numerical values and they are usually denoted by the letters of English alphabet. So let's take an expression. It's plus 5. This is an expression where you have a variable and an operation addition and a number. Like we have two hands left and right, an equation has also two sides that is LHS and RHS. And most importantly, an equality sign. Let's see an equation. x plus 5 is equal to 10. So this portion is your LHS, that is left hand side. And this portion is your RHS, which is the right hand side. An equation is a condition on the variable. What is a condition? The condition states that the value of both the expressions on both sides should be the same. Their value remains the same. Please note that even if the LHS and RHS are interchanged, like 10 equal to x plus 5, even if we write like this, the equation remains the same. The next topic is forming an equation. How do you form equation when certain statements are given? Let's start with an example. If an equation is sum of two numbers x and 7 is 12, sum means it is addition. So it can be written as an equation like x plus 7 gives you 12. So this becomes an equation. The difference between x and 7 is 4. So x and 7 is 4. Here the difference indicates subtraction. But this equation can also be written in another statement by saying 7 taken away from x gives you 4. So taken away is also a term that indicates subtraction. The product of x and 7 gives you 49. So here product means it is multiplication. So 7 times x gives you 49. Times also indicates multiplication. How can you check whether the given value of a variable is the solution of a given equation? Let's see an equation x plus 3 equal to 9. So when the value of x is given as 0, will 0 plus 3 be equal to 9? No. So 0 cannot be the solution of this equation. What if x is equal to 6? You will take the left hand side. You can see 6 plus 3 gives you 9 and this 9 is the value given in the RHS that is the right hand side. So you can say that x equal to 6 is the solution of this given equation. Now let's move on to solving an equation. How to solve equations? There are two ways to solve equation. The first method is separating the variable. Let's see an example. X plus 3 equal to 9. Okay, this is one equation and you need to separate the variable and find the solution of this equation. You need to subtract 3 here, then it will be removed. So whatever we are doing on one side, you should do the same thing on the other side too. So here, x plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 9 minus 3. So here, plus 3 and minus 3 become 0. So this number gets removed and x got separated. That is the variable got separated. So here, x is equal to 9 minus 3 is 
6. So here x equal to 6 is the solution of this equation. 5y equal to 35. Here 5y means what? 5 multiplied by y is equal to 35. Here we need to separate the variable y from 5. How will you remove 5 here? So 5y divided by 5 equal to 35 divided by 5. So it becomes 5, 5 gets cancelled and y is equal to 35 divided by 5 and it is 7. So y equal to 7 is the solution of this equation. Now let's move on to the next set of examples. Here 3p divided by 10 is equal to 9. So here you can multiply 10 into 3p by 10 is equal to here also you will do the same 10 into 9. So here 10 10 gets cancelled so it becomes 3p is equal to 10 into 9 it is 90. So here it is 3 multiplied by p so here to remove 3 you will divide both sides by 3. So 3p divided by 3 is equal to 90 divided by 3. So P gives you 30. So P equal to 30 is a solution of this given equation. Now let's move on to the next example. A by 5 plus 3 equal to 2. So A by 5 plus 3 minus 3 equal to 2 minus 3. So here positive 3 and negative 3 gets cancelled. So a by 5 is equal to 2 minus 3. So here you need to subtract and put the sign of bigger number. So it becomes negative 1. So here 5 into a by 5 equal to 5 into negative 1. So here 5, 5 gets cancelled. So A is equal to 5 into negative 1. It is negative 5. So A equal to negative 5 is the solution of this equation. So by now we have learned the first method of solving an equation that is separating the variable. Now in the next video we will learn the second method of solving equation and that is transposition method. Let's see in another video.